Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharuka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Akwat, Oas, and Selis, seeking this truth. It's the brother Yaraya Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick lesson on what um, the bottomless the bottomless pit that's being spoken of in the book of Revelation 9 and 20, what it truly means. Because you see, I'm doing this lesson for someone who is new into this truth or someone who hasn't really, you know, started understanding the truth of the Bible because in the churches, they teach nothing but lies. The spirit of the Most High God of the Bible is not working with these people. Remember the book of the book of um, Isaiah, the eighth chapter, the twentieth verse says, just roughly paraphrasing, if they don't speak according to the words of this book, it's because there is no there is no light in them. And in order to understand this book, you know you don't. It's not how how smart or how intelligent you are or how much you've gone to school. It, all that doesn't matter. It's the Spirit. You know, you need the Holy Spirit to understand this book. And if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you can forget about this book. You can attend any seminar school. You can attend any university, prestigious, whatever. You know, you can't get the understanding of this, of this book. Now, in the Christian churches, they always tell you about the bottomless pit being a place where people born forever and all that thing, you know. So, as you know it, the Hebrew Israelites, you know, great millstone. We, we, we debunk this lies, you know, through the spirit and power of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know, there is a hundred percent truth, and that truth is out there. You might be the last one, you know, left to understand what's going on because people are waking up to this truth. People are coming out of these churches, finding out that the churches are all lies and, um, and, 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 and BS, man, you know. So let's go real quick into it. This is the book of Revelation, the ninth chapter. You know, the first verse, it tells you, And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven onto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened, by reason of the smoke of the pit. <laughs> now, if you ask a Christian about this, oh, they say it's the hellfire, it's this and that, you know. But one thing you need to understand about the book of Revelation is this book was written in code, okay? And as I said, the only key to unlock this book is the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit is not dealing with you, you can't understand this book. And then you need a teacher to teach you this book. And that teacher must be a true man of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai. Just like I learned from the elder apostles of Great Millstone, starting from the elder apostle Taha. These men are the men of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai. The Spirit is working with these men, you know. The Most High has really revealed the understanding of this book to those men. So, the bottomless pit that's been spoken of here represents a land, Okay. A land. Let's first of all let's get the let's talk about the angel that sounded that sounded okay. This angel is our savior Yahweh Shai, the son of the most high. Remember, he was given the key to, to heaven and, and hell and everything, you know. It was given the key to everything, you know. And when I say hell, I mean um destruction, uh, I mean the grave, you know, I mean um 
or condition of bad living, you know, that's hell. There is no literal place where people, you know, born and Satan with the two horns and the fork, you know, controls you and locks you in a cage and you're born in. You know, all that is fables. It's not in the Bible. It's not biblical. So, in order to prove this, I just have to go to the 20th chapter. Because the 20th chapter speaks on this again. You know, this is Revelation, the 20th chapter. It gives you a, the same account, but it gives you the same account in a different it tells you what happened first you know it tells you of a timeline excuse me it tells you of a timeline you know previous to, to 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 chapter 9 and you can't read the book of revelation you know chapter to chapter verse to verse and think you understand it no you need the holy spirit first of all and you need a man to teach you a man of the most high yalba shimia shai and those men are the men of great millstone and those who are like-minded so chapter 20 says and i saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand okay this time around he has a chain because this is speaking of a previous time okay he's speaking of a previous time then here in chapter 9 it says and the fifth angel sounded and i saw a star fall from heaven Onto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit, and he opened the bottomless pit. So here is loosening that bottomless pit. Okay, is loosening that serpent that's being spoken of here in chapter twenty. Because if you read chapter twenty, it says, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan and bound him a thousand years and this is speaking of the so-called dark ages and that devil that serpent that's been spoken about is a race of people these are the edomites the so-called white man that's in power today that's what is represented of these people remember the apostle paul on oh, the apostle john was on the island of patmos on the isle of patmos you know when he was given this vision by yahweh shai and he was under, um, he was, he was, you know, he was serving on exile on that, on that, um, on that island. Let's say he was a prisoner under the, the Romans. So he needed to write this book. The spirit actually led him to write this book in a way that even if this book got into the hands of, of the Romans, they themselves wouldn't understand. <laughs> you see, so. You see, this book is not for everybody. Just like Yahweh Shai said when he was speaking, when his um, his apostles asked him why he was speaking in 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 parables. You know, it's not for everyone to get. You know, so here this this thing is speaking of a time in which you know that angel is Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High, is the one that has the key to op open heaven, and he has the key to life and death. You know. So here, he held on that serpent, that devil, which is a race of people, the Edomites, you know, he prevented them from ruling upon the earth, you know, it says, and cast him into the bottomless pit, in which we're going to speak about bottomless pit, and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that, it must be loosed a little season. And that little season is now. It was loosed during the time of uh, of the Renaissance. You know, Renaissance means um, rebirth, Renascimento in in Italian language, which means rebirth. You know. So after the dark, so-called dark ages, in which the dark ages you had the sons of Israel ruling in Europe, the so-called Moors, those are Israelites that were ruling in Europe. You know. So he was locked in a chain. He didn't have the power to rule. You know, it was it was a slave actually. He, the the, the so-called white men were actually the basest at that time. You know, but after that thousand years, you know, here he says, 
and he opened the bottomless pit and there arose the smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace and the sun and the air was darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit here he was giving back power you know so this person that is being this angel that has been spoken of is yahweh shai we can just prove it from the book of revelation 1 18 which tells you then let me read from verse 17 where it says this is yahweh shai speaking it says fear not i am the first and the last I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, a man, and have the keys of hell and of death. So you see, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, the Son of the Most High, has the keys of the grave. This hell right here represents the grave, okay, and of death. He also has the keys of life. Everything was given to him after, after he died and he rose up again, you know. So he is that angel that's being spoken of here, the, um, and he had the key of the bottomless pit. Now let's speak about the bottomless pit. The pit represents a land, okay? And how do you know it? Remember, in the book of Isaiah, is it um, Isaiah 28, I think 10? can the book of isaiah 28 10 it says let me start from nine it says whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast now in order for you to learn doctrine and knowledge of this bible you need to return like a child just like yahushai said unless you become like a child you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven returning like a child means on learning all the madness that you've been taught all your life because this truth is something new you know this is not what they teach you in your churches it's it's totally different from everything you've heard from the beginning you know so you need to find that spirit of the most high yahweh shimmy shai to deal with you so you can on on you can give up all those wicked doctrines that they've taught you all your life all that programming you know, it's all programming for the society. So you can make space to learn something new. And the problem with many people is they can't give up all that they've learned in their past and learn something new. You know, that's why Yahweh Shai, our Savior, said, unless you become like a little child, you cannot inherit the, the kingdom of heaven. So you see, you have to put down all that madness that they teach you in your churches, the hellfire um, the hellfire doctrine, the Satan, you know, poking people in, in the cages and all that thing. Those are fables. And I've done a lesson, you know, I've posted lesson on this. If you need edification, just go to the to the channel and you would see videos that we've done on, on, on the hell fable. You know, there is no place like hell where Satan pokes people and all that thing. Heaven and hell is here on earth. And it is a condition. Hell is a condition. In the Bible, hell means a condition. Hell means the grave, you know. And it means some other things too. And we've done all this on, on different lessons. So we wouldn't go back on it. Just go to the channel and search. Or you can write on, on, on your YouTube search, Hell Doctrine, Great Millstone, you know. The apostles, the elders, lots of, you know, ark. Akiam, you know, they did lesson on this. So he says, for precepts must be upon precepts, precepts upon precepts, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. So you see, this is how you learn this truth. Here a little and there a little. You have answers to every questions you seek in the Bible, always in the Bible. You might have the same, the answer on the same chapter you're reading, you might have the answer on a different book of the Bible. You might have the, the, the answer on a different chapter. This is how it is. It's like a puzzle and you need the spirit to be with you in order to put things together. Now, going back to the bottomless pit. I said pit represents land. Okay. So in order to prove that, let's go get the book of Second Esdras.
second Esdras chapter 5 and verse 24 it says and of all lands of the whole world thou hast chosen thee one peat and of all the flowers thereof one lily and this is speaking of Israel of all the people and of all the multitude of all everything the most High has created the most High has chosen first the people of Israel and he has chosen that land okay those are his people now you see here it says of all lands of the whole world thou hast chosen thee one pit land and the pit are synonymous man it's the same thing you see the Bible speaks in code and you need the spirit to understand. So the land represents peat. So you see, now you have the proof right there. And what makes this land bottomless? Bottomless, you know, this book was written in, in old English, you know, and the Edomites in power today, they wouldn't, they wouldn't want to give you the full understanding of this thing. But the Most High has actually... You know giving this understanding back to 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 his elect you know just like the book of romans romans 11 7 can this is the book of romans 11 7 it says what then israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for and what does israel seek for the truth it says listen it says but the election had obtained it and the rest were blinded okay According as it is written, the Most High Yahweh Shemi Oshai has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So you see, an election has received this truth. An election understands this Bible. Okay? An election understands the mystery of this book, in which it's not given to your pastors in your churches, you know, your pork eating chop um, pastors. Your, your priests and all those people, this truth is not given to them. The Most High has kept them blinded, okay? So you see, it says, what makes this land bottom bottomless actually means, you know, a land with nothing under. And what it actually means in its sense is a land without resources, a land that is void of resources. And what land is that? Europe. It's speaking of Europe in general. Europe is that piece of land without resources. Okay? Europe has no resources. And hopefully through the spirit and power of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Shai, I can continue and give you more breakdown of all this. Okay? So, I just wanted to emphasize, emphasize on that bottomless pit. Okay, the most I Yahweh Bashim Yahushai willing, my next lesson is going to be, you know, breaking down more of this chapter, you know. So, all that nonsense that they teach you in the, in the, in the churches, you know, that there is a place that is known as the, as the bottomless pit where people born forever, then you have Satan poking them and all that thing. It's all BS. That's all fables. And we are meant not to give heed to these fables. You know, we were warned in the book of um, First Timothy, I believe. Let me see. Fables. Can. First Timothy 4, 7, 4, 7 says, But refuse profane and old wives' fables, and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. Okay? Second Timothy 4, 4 says, And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. And that's exactly what's going on today. The churches are all turned to fables, man. All those things that they teach you about, the hell and all that thing, they got that from all um, from the Greek mythologies, you know? Greek myth. That's what they teach in the churches. First Titus chapter chapter 1, verse 13, it says, This witness is true, wherefore rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith, not giving heed. To Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth, you know. So beware of these fables that they teach you. 
and they teach you in the in the churches you know second peter 1 16 says for we have not followed cunningly devised fables these are cunningly devised fables what they tell you the l fire all that thing it's all cunningly devised fables so what are you trying to tell me here now are you trying to tell me that here in the book of revelation 9 you know are you trying to tell me that okay um this is the bottomless pit you know and that bottomless pit is is releasing um satan as they teach in the church you know and he say in verse 5 it says now let me just read it all real quick it says and he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Now in the church, they will tell you that hell fire. It says in verse 3, And there came out of the smoke locust upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpion of the earth hath power. So, you have these locusts and scorpions coming out of hell fire, and they were given power of, upon the earth. You know, and it says, and it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of the Most High in their forehead. And it says, and to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. So you mean the the the, the time will spend um anyone who sins and goes to hellfire, according to the Christians. They're going to spend five months being tormented by by, 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 by by Satan, you know? All that thing. This book is written in a code. This book is written in a code. All what they teach you in the churches is all fables, you know? So, the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai willing, well, today we've spoken about the, the bottomless pits. We've given an understanding on the bottomless pits. We're going to continue with the rest of the breakdown of this chapter, Okay? So hopefully this lesson was edifying to the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rukakodash. On to the next one. Shalom.